Hello there everyone. Welcome to the new section. In this section, we will be creating the API container for interacting with the blockchain network through the client. So invoking the transaction through the CLI, it's a little confusing, I know. So that's why deliberately I have added this API container section at the last and we will be implementing this API container part and we can invoke the transaction from the postman client directly invoke transaction query transactions so how exactly it happens so let's let's see that part in the flow diagram you we can see here these all these steps we have covered up to here invoke and query transaction through the cli so on the, from the virtual machine one through the cli we have invoked and query the transactions so after that the next step would be the creating the api container so what is the api container and how we are going to interact with our blockchain network so generally from the terminal command line terminal we will not be able to interact with the blockchain network because i have already showed that part like for the peer addresses we have to give either their peer zero or dot example dot com but if that peer is not available on the same virtual machine they won't be able to communicate or we can even though we cannot give local host as well because these peers are not available on the current virtual machines but what if we are going to give the IP addresses these certificates are not valid for that particular IP addresses so that's why we either we have to invoke this transaction through the container so for that purpose we can do it through the CLI container or just create one API server and interact with the blockchain network so what is the procedure for that let's jump into the VS code As I already mentioned, so we will be hosting one API server on the virtual machine one and it will be interacting with the blockchain network. That part we are going to implement now and it will be available only on organization one. But in case if you want, you can implement on other organization as well. So let's jump into the VS code and see what is the implementation we need to do. Yeah, so on the VS code, we, we can see here in the virtual machine one we have a special dedicated folder that is api 2.0 so for implementing the api i am using the latest fabric sdk that is a fabric network and that is the only recommended sdk for implementing the api for fabric so what exactly it's contained it is just a node.js server we are going to create node.js api in the app.js we can see here so we will be using the jwt for the verification that I'm, I'm sure you already familiar with this part. Maybe you can implement better than this just for achieving the purpose what we want. I have created this part. So you can just go through this part. App dot use and these are the different API. This is the register user API. So this register user API what is doing if checking if already user is there. If not, it will register that user and if it is already there, it will just return the token for that user. Okay. And next one is the register and enroll so this register api is used for getting the secret so admin of the organization will register that user he will get a secret so that user finally directly just create his own public key private key and and he can finally enroll to the certified authority but we are not using this api don't worry this login is also we are not using so, so we are trying to just use the basic two first one is the invocation second one is the gating of course first one is the registration this one so we will be using this slash user register and enrolling so we'll be using this api and next one is the invoking the transaction this invoke transaction on the chain code so this is the api we are going to use this is the invocation and next one is the query this is the api for query so what exactly it contain i will show you that part and another most important thing here so i want to show here in the config you can see in the config we have to add the connection profile here connection common connection profile ccp so for organization we have to create so right now we will be interacting as user on the vf of the organization one so for that we need to have information about peer zero and peer uh, peer zero org one and peer one org one so for that we require tls certificate and for the certified authority while having the communication with the certificate authority we require tls cs cert as well so how we can create this 
connection profile so here you can see generate ccp.hs this is the script i have uh, i have written so i have taken just reference from the fabric sample it's already there you can implement your own as well so what we are doing here so using this ccp template.json we are just ingesting the data okay and this is the already template here and finally the resultant would be this one okay so we have already created the new certificate we have to create this part again so i'm just removing all this thing or connection org one.json okay so now generate ccp dot hs what it does it just create this all this cert uh, this all the profiles and ingest the data in the template which already we have ccp template dot json okay so now now i'm executing this generate ccp dot hs you can see here these are the different things we need to give for the organization is the one zero is the port for peer zero seven zero five one this is port for certified authority this is port for p1 that is a peer one and pm file pm1 file so we, these are the different certificate uh, tls certificates so this is the capm file and finally we are just ingesting into the connection org.json just we have to run this file just go to the vm1 in uh, so go to the api config and here we have to run generate ccp.hs so once we done that you can see in the connection argon.json this will get created and this is the connection profile we will be using so just run do make sure that you run this otherwise it will not work we will not be able to interact with the network so this is a very important part uh, that's it for this video in the next video we will see how we can register the user and get the token Thank you so much. See you in the next one.